Hey guys, what's happening? It's B-Side, and today in my hands, the Fender Squire Bullet Mustang. If you are looking for a cool, vibey guitar just to have around the house, or maybe it's your first guitar, you don't want to spend a bunch of money, 179 bucks, this is a really sweet guitar. So, a couple things about this guitar. One, it is really, really lightweight. Uh, it's definitely got a little bit smaller body. It's a short scale length. So what that means is the distance between the bridge and the nut right here is actually 24 inches. Uh, on a Telecaster or something like that, it'd be 25.5 inches, so it makes it that a little bit longer. Uh, that also means the strings are a little bit easier to play, which was why this is a great guitar for your first guitar, really, or maybe your second guitar, even. Maybe you got, you know, kind of the, the uh, Guitar Center Special $99 guitar and you're wanting to upgrade to something a little bit better. This would definitely be it. Uh, this guy comes with two humbucking pickups, which is awesome, three-way toggle switch, and just simple volume and tone control. So this is a pretty straight-ahead machine that will get you some great tones. Speaking of tones, let's get a couple of them. Uh, we're going to go through an AC style amp. If I kick on overdrive, or I should say when I kick on overdrive, I'm going to use a Wampler Tumnus that I have sitting over here, currently one of my favorite overdrives. And if you think the switch is kind of in a weird, it's going a weird direction, it is. It was kind of installed a little offset from the factory. I've actually had some people notice that on some other videos with some Fender stuff. So uh, we're in the bridge position right now. So let's see what that sounds like. We're through an AC style amp. <laughs> All the way up. Let's go ahead and flip it to the neck position. And let's get that middle position. So that middle position is going to put both those pickups on. back to the bridge position. All right, let's go back to the neck position real quick. All right, now let's throw that tumness on. Let's do a little just rocking out. Uh, we're back to that bridge position. Try that again in the neck position. And still in the neck position. Let's go to the bridge. So overall, a really cool guitar for 179 bucks. Kind of hard to beat. A uh, couple things that I do want to point out. One, this does suffer. The one I have, and I, I'm guessing most of them, are going to suffer from uh, what I call the Squire trifecta, which are kind of the three things that most Squires come to you with uh, that you should probably just take care of because it takes like 20 or 30 minutes and 20 bucks. And I did a whole video on it, so you can check that out in the description below on uh, three tips for you to make your Squire play better. But first off, the strings that come on this thing are just junk. So the first thing I would do is just cut them off and put on new ones. New strings are like six, seven, eight bucks. Just get some Ernie Balls or Diodarios or whatever and put them on here because these ones are just not good. Second is most Squires I've played uh, have this kind of weird film almost on top of the frets. And so while you're replacing those strings, cut the strings off and then polish up the frets. 
it's really not that big of a deal. Once again, the video in the description will show you how to do that and you can just knock that out. Uh, and third, the fretboard, which is happens to be Indian Laurel, um, is just, they're always just really dry. So you wanna just get some nice uh, fretboard oil. Uh, there's some Music Nomad stuff that is in the description, a link to it. I think it's $8 and it will just make this fretboard not only look a lot better, but it will just feel better. And that's kind of the key, right? You want as little friction between the strings and the frets and your hand moving around. Um, this has a satin neck on the back. It's This one specifically is actually really, really smooth. I've seen, I've had some come that have um, a little bit of, I don't wanna say burrs, but just maybe some extra finish. You can take some 8,000 grit polish paper and get rid of that without really taking any of the finish off. Um, but this is really a cool guitar for 180 bucks. I've had it uh, around the house for a couple of days. I literally, when we're out in the living room watching movies with the kids, this is, I, I've been just playing uh, this one and I'm really impressed by it. So uh, once again, if you're looking for a great first guitar, maybe you're looking for a guitar for your kids that's a little bit smaller, uh, that is easier to, to hold, or if you have back problems, you just need a light guitar. I mean, this guitar could fit the bill for so many different people. Really worth it. I mean, for 179 bucks, it's worth grabbing one especially if you can get it in this sweet seafoam green. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, one other thing I do as I'm looking at it, I just remembered I wanted to tell you that the bridge feels really good also. And I, I say that because a lot of inexpensive guitars, you know, if you have your hand back on the bridge, which is where I place my hand when I'm playing a lot of times, uh, inexpensive guitars will tend to have kind of sharp edges. And this one, there's definitely edges, but they're not sharp. So uh, I'm really commending Fender for that. You know, they're able to do that in this price point because they make so many guitars it's kind of by volume you can make the quality better than if you're only making a thousand guitars at two hundred dollars they're making hundreds of thousands of guitars at two hundred dollars so they're able to keep the price low by volume and that's definitely what you're getting with this these are just fender humbucking pickups on the website it just says humbucking pickup so these are just some inexpensive pickups so they sound halfway good so yeah i don't think you're gonna have to worry about replacing those basic tuners on the back of the headstock um and they haven't caused me any tuning problems yet. So with that, like I said, for 179 bucks, I would definitely check one out. Links to everything we talked about in the description below. If you enjoyed hanging out today, would you consider hitting that subscribe button? I'm B-Side and we'll catch you next time.